Hi friends, welcome to AR Knowledge. Today we will start an interesting poem. The name of the poem is Maps, which is written by Dorothy Brown Thompson. Now let's start the poem. High adventures and bright dreams. Maps are mightier than the sea. So it means that when we see a map, it will we will have some adventure and it will slowly become a high adventure we would like to travel to that place so and like that by step by step it will also become a high dream it means that when we see a map which looks very simple but in from inside it is very powerful eyes floats Head beyond all knowing plants where wind are blowing. This means that ice, ice floats at all knowing plants, plants where wind are blowing. So it means that where wind blows over there mainly ice flows. And when we have seen, we have seen that in the seas there are high waves. Um, yes, they, they can be constituted to low tides and high tides, but still there is a, a lot of percentage of wind also due to which there are high waves conducted in the sea. So this means that I, it is very necessary that if there is wind or, or there ice can float very easily. Train maps, road maps, maps of wind and weather are taken all together. This means the common thing in these three kinds of maps are that they are maps, right? We can know about we can know about the surroundings, environment, and places. Maps are really magical wands for home staying and vagabonds. This means that ma that maps are magical wands for homesteading and vagabonds together. So now you have a you may have a question that how can be a person a vagabond and as well as a homesteading at the same time? So the answer is if we are in our home, so we are homesteading and we have to be. Homes and we the question is that we are a vagabond too. So when we see maps, there are some pictures given. Sometimes we think about the surrounding, weather condition, climate, scenery, and different types of things. So we try to travel to that place. So in our we are physically present in our home, but mentally present in that place. The second stanza of the poem is Ships that follow leaning stars Red and gold of strange bazaars So this means that The, the ships which follow leaning stars So in, do you know friends In olden times There were no maps So if a ship had to travel from one place to another By sea route so what she it had to do the thing it had to do is to follow stars by following stars it had to go from one place to another and and distribute the money or any item which it is carrying such as it is said it is said that red and gold of strange bazaars over here red and gold is referred as is May very precious materials such as gold, silver, ruby and many more things.